Hey, welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes, and today we're going to show you how to uh, do a check disk utility uh, check or for disk errors and repair our disk problems with the check disk utility in Windows. And so, um, why would you do that? Um, if you are having some problems, maybe um, Windows is telling you that some uh, files have problems or errors while they're loading or there's um, CRC problems which is the redundancy problems on some files maybe your computer stuck at this uh, screen where it needs to actually uh, boot up so for example you try to start your computer and you're here in safe mode and it starts booting windows when you do safe mode or uh, start windows normally and it comes back and it loops all the time into your safe mode so uh, lots of different problems can make your computer loop back um, hardware problems of all sorts memory problems um, it might not be the hard drive but it can be the hard drive how to know if it's your hard drive sometimes you have hints for example, you shut down the computer because it froze up, so you press the power button for five seconds. Or the computer um, shut down by itself in the middle of playing a game or going on the internet, and it restarted. Came up with this safe mode screen, and it just doesn't boot anymore. Maybe you had a power outage while you were using the computer, and now you're stuck into this black screen and nothing works, you've tried start windows normally, safe mode, uh, you, you tried the uh, last known good config uh, option here, nothing works, you're always back into this screen. One of the things you can do in Windows 7 is click the repair your computer. This process can sometimes take a lot of minutes and even I've seen oh, um, some repair your computer last for more than an hour uh, that's typical of Vista and Windows 7 they, these are the two operating systems that have this option of repair if you're in XP you're out of luck this repair your computer doesn't exist so what are you going to do well insert your original Windows disk in your computer that's the first thing you'll want to do is to insert the Windows disk and you're gonna boot from that Windows disk. Now you're telling me, okay, I've got an HP computer and it comes with a recovery disk, but I don't have an original Windows disk. That's possible, lots of uh, brands don't give out Windows disks. So, um, you know, call your friends, family, ask them, do you have a disk lying around Windows 7, Vista, XP? Even if it's an XP disk, it might work. If you have a brand new computer, um, it might not because XP doesn't uh, support uh, SATA drives, um, so it might not work. The best choice to have a Windows 7 or Vista disk. Insert it in your computer, restart your computer, and boot from that CD or DVD. And how do you do that? Well, it depends on the brand of your computer. My Toshiba, I press F12 to get the choice of the boot options. Uh, HP's might be F10, uh, some computers I've seen with F2, it really depends on your computer brand. So you have to find out at the beginning when you see the logo here on my Toshiba, it was saying at the bottom of the screen F2 for setup, F12 for boot options. That's when you want to do boot options. So look at your screen when it starts up, there's a good chance it says somewhere at the bottom press this F key for boot options. That's what you want to have. Once you, you're there, you'll be able to go with the arrow keys onto the, what you want to boot from. So I'll choose here CD, DVD and press enter. And then it's going to say, press any key to start from the CD or DVD ROM. If you got that and you've pressed the key and you're here, cool, everything is going as it should. So you're loading your Windows disk and um, while it's uh, actually loading, what um, you want to do is of course um, 
think about what happened before your computer uh, actually restarted. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, lots of hardware issues can actually prevent your computer from starting up and um, it might not be a disk problem or a hard drive problem. So if it's not a hard drive problem, this video won't help you. But you can at least try if you're not sure what causes the problem. So I would say that from experience of going to all my clients, because I'm a tech guy here, um, you have a 50-50 chance at this point of recovering if you don't know what caused the problem. If it's after a shutdown, an improper shutdown of your computer, maybe it freezed up or just restarted on its own at a blue screen of debt, then you're probably going to increase your chances to 70 or 80 percent by doing this uh, option of the check disk utility on uh, Windows. So all Windows original disks contain this um, booting option and the repair options that let you use command prompts. And um, especially one of the command prompts, uh, the commands actually that you will be using here is check disk. CHKDSK. Uh, we'll use that. Check disk is a pretty good utility to verify your hard drive, make sure everything is okay. Um, even if your computer boots up but you have some issues with loading files and stuff like that, um, it could be a good idea. But you can also do a check disk within Windows when Windows does start uh, and just go into a command prompt and type the same command that I just typed here and it's probably going to prompt you to start over. So once you're into the um, setup of Windows with your Vista or Windows 7 disk, what you will do is simply go and uh, choose the proper language that you'll use on your computer. So um, here, this is a French disk, so sorry for that. I was, I was unable to find my English uh, Windows 7 disk. So you uh, choose the proper keyboard. That's important because you'll be searching for your keys. You click Next. And then don't click the install now on the middle of the screen. That's not what you want to do. At the bottom left, you'll have repair computer. You'll click on that. Once you're there, it's going to scan for your Windows install on your hard drive. And normally it should see your Windows install there is possibility that it cannot. Sometimes I've seen corrupt drives that are just so badly corrupt that uh, nothing shows up. Now, it does give you an idea of your Windows. If you look here on the right, it says the letter, I have two Windows installs on my computer here, a French and an English version. So you see the two installs. Probably you'll have only one on your computer if you're not in dual boot. So uh, take note of the letter next to the Windows install. So for example, my Windows install that has a problem is the English one. Windows 7 English is here and it says E. If you only have one install, just take note of the letter that it has. Click on it and click Next. Now this is the diagnostics screen for Windows 7 and also Windows Vista disks. What you want to do is actually go at the bottom to command prompt. You'll want to check for the command prompt. Click on that. Here you'll have that famous black screen that everybody says, oh you're in DOS. Don't be fooled. It's a black screen and a command prompt line. It's not DOS. It's something else. It's really what we call the recovery console here in Windows 7 or Windows Vista, for example. If you have an old XP machine and you boot up from your old XP machine, um, you'll have, while you're uh, loading Windows XP disk, R, the letter R for repair, you'll click that 
and that will bring you to your command prompt uh, also now what you want to do is go into the proper drive so I looked at my window it said that Windows 7 English was on E so I'll type E colon and press enter and you'll see that the letter on the uh, left side of the black screen is now E colon once you're there you'll type CHKDSK check disk space E colon space slash R now make sure you have the right slash it has to be the one that's the uh, I believe what we call forward slash which is the upper right corner to the lower left corner uh, as you see it here if you have the wrong slash it won't work once you do that just press enter and you'll see that your computer is going to do something now here it says that some of the, the files are open on the volume you need to actually unmount you say yes to the question and you let it check disk it has five different steps that it's actually performing to check your computer's hard drive and you'll want to leave it doing that keep in mind that this can take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes up to an hour an hour and a half depending on how big the hard drive you have and also depending on how many files are on that drive so it's very important not to interrupt and to let it go once you've done that check and everything is right it says that it done a hundred percent everything was checked it might tell you that some files were recovered it might tell you that some indexes were uh, changed or rewritten just let it do what it needs to do once it's finished you can close all these windows and restart your computer uh, of course you'll want to take out your DVD disk from the computer if the problem you had with your computer restarting or unable to start up was due to your hard drive then hopefully at restart your computer started up okay so here I'll interrupt because my computer was not having any problems or issues so once it's over just close just restart your computer reboot and hopefully by rebooting you will have fixed that booting problem off your PC and you'll be back into Windows so um, like I said at the beginning 50 percent chances if you're not sure why it doesn't start up if you know that it's because you shut it down or it shut down by itself in the middle of a session in Windows that increases your chances of uh, ha we're having a working Windows to about 70 or 80 percent so that's good for that so uh, why do we um, have corrupt files well if your computer for example shut down improperly right in the middle of a session well your hard drive meta might have been writing files and what happens is that when it shuts down it the, the, the head the hard drive heads will actually go to park and what's gonna happen is that if they go to park while it was writing it might actually uh, change the magnetic properties of the um, sectors that were just next to the head itself so it's gonna corrupt files or it might corrupt if it was writing something important for example so hopefully you tried it you booted from your DVD you did a check disk and with a little chance you're back in good order in your Windows machine 
So if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe and uh, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. And hopefully your check disk made your computer restart if it was corrupted. Or um, if you have any types of little problems while writing or uh, reading files on your hard drive, you might want to try a check disk. Sometimes hard drives have errors on them and uh, the check disk uh, slash R will repair and uh, modify the hard drive file system so that uh, things get better to avoid problems in the future. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video and that you'll come back to the easy computer fixes. Bye-bye.